Hi there, I'm Allie Elliott. Hi there, I'm Allie Elliott. It looks like my microphone is working. <laughs> Welcome to the stream. This will be a super short one today. I just want to do a quick business check-in and then take um, a second to go over the image that I worked on yesterday because I think I'm going to drop that into the ASP competition. So I never want to edit a competition image and then not revisit it on a different day, different mindset, different circumstances, all that. So I'm going to um, just do some kind of tweaking, some finishing touches and um, go over. I've done a lot of marketing planning today, moving into quarter two with the finite details. And um, I'm really, really excited about a client gift situation that I've got going on for April. So um, this is a good time. The end of January, beginning of February, your marketing skeleton should be done for the whole year. And then you are moving several months ahead to finalize details of that marketing plan and put them into action. And right now we're moving um, as far as details go into late spring, fulfilling current, but that's been planned, done, dusted, <laughs> and you're just focusing on follow up right now. So I am going to be moving into my spring and summer magazine. And I will design those on stream. So um, just kind of revisit your goals and make sure that your quarter one goals are that you're on track. And if you're not, um, let's brainstorm some ways to make that happen, whether it's number of sessions, uh, sales average, overall financial goals for your studio, whatever you need to make happen. Let's take that big goal, chop it up into increments that are executable, that are attainable. And um, I came up with the title for this image. <laughs> I, I switched gears. There was no transition there. We just switched. Um, but I came up with the title. Uh, this actually says Map of Bravery. It's going to be Map of Courage. So... Oh. Okay, so what I do want to see first is where I save this because I save the hard part. I don't have a system that I'm in love with for competition placement for saving it because I end up with so many um, in my hair and my microphone. By the way, um, this one appears to be working okay right now, but <laughs> I have a new mic coming and I'm sad that it's not the like on the face one. No more pretend Peloton instructor for me. <laughs> but it will set it right up here and hopefully be very stable and all that good stuff. So anyway. Um I don't have a good system here. I have this named like eighty different titles right now because Um, let's see, map of courage. I'm very happy with that one. Open to suggestions, of course, it's not final, but I am very excited. And then I'm going to work on the light a little bit because there are some, I want to make it more, this is very separate. So the shorter part, this gown is created with um, a lot of different pieces and they're shorter in front and they kind of been back around so um, it has created kind of a separation of light this is all blocked and um, I just want to make it a little more of a break so I'm going to take this one and I'm going to watch both monitors because they um, respond a little bit differently. And I'm calibrated on my big monitor, but I have a face lamp on currently. <laughs> That's that. 
can think a little bit. And I do want to make sure that I get rid of this hard edge because even if we don't really see it right now, that will definitely show up. I don't love it. We're switching. We're switching back. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna go a different route. That was not as subtle as I want. I'm gonna go back here. And just try to kiss the highlights that are already there with the dog's cool light. I love the um, subtle and I want to hold on to that. And I'm going to switch and go into some shadows. So I want a little ham. I just want to offer some depth. I went so hard on the highlight, but I want to make sure that the shadows still get the attention they deserve. The highlights are nothing without the shadows. Just keep that dimension. And I did the color checker yesterday. I'm going to do it again just to make sure we're not running into grays. I'm colorblind. So that's still in the red range. And it's pretty uniform across that plane of light. So I'm happy with that. What I might do here is First of all, check to see. So, kept that dimension. I like that. I'm going to duplicate this then and maybe warm the entire image up just a touch. So, I'm going to watch both monitors really closely for this. And I have a tendency, I do this with oil paintings too, where you remember the scene in Tommy Boy where he, like, a biscuit, and he's talking about the sale, and he, like, he has it, and then he kills it because he overdoes it, and I can see that with painting with photography. Um, you know, it's easier to go back, but Knowing when to say when is a lovely trait. I actually think I prefer the other. Because I, I think I prefer there being some darks and grays. How she is got the dark behind her and she's looking into the warmth. So I may just Sometimes you gotta try it out a little. Okay. And I think it is time to just stop. <laughs> Believe it or not, I think it might be. Um, So this is going to be dropped into the ASP Images of Distinction Image Competition. Um, ASP is the American Society of Photographers. It is uh, a group of elite photographers that have, to even be eligible for membership, you have to have a degree from PPA, which is Professional Photographers of America, and they have separate education and separate mentorship and separate, um, you know, 
opportunity for us as artists and kind of those goals that we like so much, um, or at least I do, that's a huge motivating factor. And um, awards, you know, <laughs> who doesn't love an award? But um, I never performed very well in this, in this competition because the competition is in January and traditionally the district, even the state district, and certainly the International Photographic Competition come much later in the year. So what I end up, um, and you cannot, once something merits at any of PPA's competition, you can't enter it in ASP. So they end up getting my first version of what will end up being a really beautiful uh, image. And like my Grand Imaging Award nominations, one in Master Artist and one in senior portrait were both entered in that but it was before there were little things that I adjusted after it went through they went through judging um, conversation with our ancestors is the composite of old family pictures and it went through a huge metamorphosis huge tremendous between the first competition that I entered it in and when it finally um, performed well at ICC and what was entered in images of distinction was not any even a shadow of what it ended up being and my senior as simple as a portrait as it was changed pretty significantly so I was determined this year especially with changes coming to IPC I was determined to not let that happen and to give these images as much time and attention to detail and everything that they deserve um, so we'll see. There is judging. Now let me see if okay. So the competition judging is February seventeenth, starting at ten a.m. and the deadline is February fifth. So just a few days till the deadline, and then I hope that we can watch the judging live. I'm trying to read real quick and see if that's the case. Um, each entrant is limited to 10 total entries. Oh, hold on. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Oh, okay. I'm just at 7 now with with um, this beautiful girl. So we're good. <laughs> I hadn't actually noticed that. Um, so they've got two panels right now and they can add a third if necessary. Okay. Audio is on Zoom in each and then on printcompetition.com, we can watch the judging. So, very cool. If you are a print competition member, which I think you have to be, it is incredibly valuable to watch that and to be able to see. And not just my own images, but watching other people's images um, is incredibly educational and helps me see things the way the judges see it. And I go back and forth all the time on whether or not that's something I want to pursue, but I would really like to someday. I've judged competitions, but I am not an, an, uh, an official juror for PK. Um, but you know, so now that I've got this all set up and saved, and then I'm going to save it, um, in another place too, I want to... I'll know which name it is for me. I can always check the metadata. It comes up a little bit. Um, so I need to create a presentation for this, which is I, my week. Definitely my biggest weakness in competition. Is. So now these darker ones, I'm a little bit more comfortable because. I just keep it really simple and I do a, a relatively wide black mat. I don't, I see people that, on one hand, I see people with really gorgeous presentation and it looks basically like a print would. Now, live print, real print, I can design presentations for me. I don't know why digital is such an issue for me, but it is. Um, and then you see other people that try to get like, have like, you know, crazy portions 
and make a statement with it, but you don't really, if you don't really know what it's saying, then that's not serving much of a purpose. So, I'm just going to widen the canvas. Um, this is a um, photographic open image, so it does not need guide images. Um, so I can just go even all the way around. That's what I was getting at. want to do a subtle gray and then um, actually going to be warmer the brown. Yeah, we need a brown. Balance out the cooler. So I was going to do a cooler matte and then a warmer stroke, a little subtle stroke. Um, but I didn't like that. <laughs> the very scientific process of just not liking it. So we're going to do something different. And um, I just do a roll, like a three pixel stroke with. Try that and see if it's even visible. And it is. And that might be just enough. And this is kind of unnecessary, but. Um, a real subtle you don't have to go back <laughs> um, what I might do just to kind of a little bit of that texture. Just a subtle okay. you know what, before I do that I'm going to get rid of this part of it.
doing that. So if you're watching this right now, relative in the relatively new, <laughs> you know, recent. With that because I want the light if there's gonna be a real subtle lighter spot I want it to be coming from the same side but I also want to say Um, I think what I'll do here is burn a little bit. And you know, best case scenario is this does really well, and part of my work done once some of the items have been announced. So, I haven't seen anything yet. I haven't been on anywhere much either though, so I'm just testing that I will hear what's going on. I should have probably just made them all the same and gonna merge. And maybe just do I don't want to see any phone marks or anything. Oh, like which section that was on? <laughs> So I am going to take this one. Actually, I think that I messed up a little here. And I'm going to put this one, two, four, three. Because I want that subtle drop shadow to be um, going to my direction. Get a little more complicated. Okay, this is similar to similar to the um, presentation I did for All My Away. Okay, I like that. It's subtle. 
get this job done. I am going to save it as um, a Photoshop document for right now because I'm just like, I, I know that's my weak point, and so I don't want to flatten it and then have to extract the image to. Um, Okay, so, peg, and then before I leave, I want to just do a little check here for block. Okay, so my deepest shadows are under her foot and then in the spokes of her, the wheels on her locker, and that is not that's in the shadow, that's how it's meant to be. It's perfectly shaped, and we've got no um, burnt areas. So, um, as we slide it back into um, the highlight, it is exactly where we want it. And that's a good little indication of And those being blocked up, no big deal. Okay, so this will now go into the ASP Images Extinction Competition. I will actually um, let's check the just so you have an idea. Okay, so the specifications for this are JPEG 10. I'm gonna write it down done this for years and I cannot like I just need to look at it um, and the longest side at 4,000 and that changes with technology all the time so I will go to the pitch side and see that my longest side is the width put that at the max 300 pixels per inch. And then I will put it at uh, full size. It's not a really minus. And you can see her clarity is still gorgeous, showing off her curls. Just like we like it. And then I'm going to save this in a separate folder because I do not want to <laughs> save courage. Okay, I want to save this in the final AFP folder and it is JPEG 10. And I'm done. So all I have to do now is submit it on printcompetition.com, pay for my entry, and cross my fingers and wait until the judging takes place, which is, I just said it and I don't remember it, um, February 17th, and that is a Friday, I believe, it is a Friday, so, that is my seventh entry, some of those were kind of on a whim, <laughs> um, all, I think, were edited right live on stream. Three of those are master artist entries, so their guide images will appear. They're in a totally separate category than photographic open. And um, these photographic open obviously doesn't have the guide in it. So I will update with those. And then um, that's it for tonight. I knew it was going to be short. This is um, five stream days in a row. And I'm all caught up from having my computer gone last week. So I um, have a full day of soccer tomorrow. So I probably will not be back. Maybe Saturday. I don't know. We'll just see. Uh, but do your business check-in. See, you know, see if you're on track. And if you're not, make changes. Make the necessary changes to reach your goals. And um, if you need help, if you need to brainstorm, hit me in the comments, Instagram, whatever. 
you need to do and I will help you. That's what we're here for, Rising Tide. So I will see you all very soon. Thank you so much. Bye. Subscribe to my mommy. Please. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.